I never knew you were such a wonderful dancer. <laughs> Honestly, you surprised me with those your wonderful dance steps. <laughs> your Highness, I knew my husband couldn't dance, so I had to cover up for him. Really? I love that. I am so happy for both of you. Thank you. You made us so proud. Thank you. In fact, <laughs> I am the happiest man. So, Princess, where is your husband? I think he should be upstairs. No. He drove out a few minutes ago. He was telling someone on the phone he's coming to pick him. That's okay. My princess, please tell him to join us whenever he returns. I mean, myself and the elder. We still have some traditional rituals to conclude. Okay. I'll do just that, Your Highness. Hello? Yes? This is His Royal Highness, King Chinedu Njoko, the Wumba II of Ejalala Kingdom. May I know who I'm speaking with? What? Where? Okay. I will meet you right away. Thank you. Look, our attention is needed by the way. Both of us? Yes, both of us. Let's go. Uh, my princess, please take care. We'll be right back. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem, my girl. Excuse us. We'll be right back. Take care. Take care of her. <laughs> my princess. <laughs> please, I need a drink. Uh -uh. You go to the kitchen and get as many boxes as you want. I know you know. No. I don't want champagne or any of that. Mm. I want fresh bar wine. Okay. I'll save you. And that's because you're my best friend. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. is driving me crazy is that the queen and the king are not even picking their calls. But I want the village to see them. But the village is too far. You mean she has been calling you? Wait, wait a minute. Did you take her call? No, my king, I didn't. I'm glad you didn't. She has been calling me too. But I don't know what to tell her. I'm completely confused. What do we do next? My king, this is not the time to be confused. Rather, it is time to think like a man. Like the great king that you are. Stop being confused, my king. I think we should go ahead and tell her the truth. That her husband, the prince, had an accident on his way to pick his friend after a traditional wedding. But that is the only way out. We can't continue to hide it from her. 
she must be very worried and waiting for her husband to come back. Eh? You know how it is with this newly married young couples. I think you're right. Thank God he did not die in the accident. Yes, we thank the gods. So, how is he doing right now? He's still sleeping. I just stepped out of the world to talk to you. So I will not disturb him. Have the doctors seen him since I left the hospital? Yes, he just left his word about 10 minutes ago. Ah. So, tell me, after telling the princess about the husband's condition, what next? My princess, I know you have been very worried about your husband. Your Highness, I couldn't sleep last night. Please, did you or anyone hear from me? Yes, we did. He is fine and very much alive. What do you mean by that, you If he's okay like you rightly said, why didn't he come home last night? I don't know. Just take it easy. No, it's not really what you're thinking. I can only ask a question. I didn't see him last night. I was very worried. Why didn't he come home? My dear. Your husband, the prince, had an accident yesterday on his way to pick his friend. As I speak with you, he's still at the hospital. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Your Highness, you're joking, right? My princess, please calm down. My princess, the king will never joke with issues concerning the only heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. I'm not joking. Pat, is this true? No, no, no. Come back, come back. Come back. No, no, no. Where is it? My cousin, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Take me to him. I will help you. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. You've not said a word since you returned from the hospital. My princess, talk to me. How did it go? I don't just know what to say. I don't just know what to say. I'm totally confused. What do you mean by that? You did not see your husband, the prince? Doctors are always playing with one's emotion. I don't trust them at all. Wait. With what you just said now? Are you implying my husband is going to die? Stop 
anything you see fit. Lunch, is it now ready? It will be served in less than 10 minutes. Make sure you're fast about it, because I'm famished. As it pleases you. My cake. You think the doctor told us the truth? I don't understand. But do you think there's any reason for him to lie to us? He may not want to hurt us by telling us the truth. Why do you think so? He knows that Frank is our only child. Besides, the presence of Princess Jane, his newly married wife, could be a good reason for the doctor not to tell us the true situation of things. My Gwen, every medical doctor is expected to say the truth about the health condition of any patient under their care. So I see no reason the doctor has to lie to us. Your Majesty, my husband, I don't know. I don't just know why my mind is telling me something else. I greet you, Your Highness, King Chinedu Njoku, as the Gumba the second of our great kingdom. Greetings to you too, Anedike. The eyes of the gods. The gods you sent to my shrine said I am needed here, urgently. And I ask, is everything all right, my king? Everything is not all right, Anedike. The Queen and I no longer sleep at night. What is going on? Honestly, I am lost at that, Your Majesty. What on earth could it be that could snatch sleep from the eyes of my King and his precious Queen? What? What? I reported to you the case of my son a few days ago. And you said you would consult the girls and get back to me. And my son's condition is not really improving. What are the gods saying? The gods have not said anything yet. Does that mean the prince will remain like that? Can something be done? Your Majesty, how we shall have answers to your question. Your Majesty, what does it mean? Can he open his mouth and say the gods have not said anything? Why on earth would the gods not say anything? I really do not understand what is going on in here. Your Majesty, we have to do something really fast. We can't allow our son to die. May the gods forbid. Nothing will happen to him. My son will come back alive. Yes, he will come back alive. We must do something to make him come back alive. Yes. What exactly do you think we have to do? to get him out of this present condition and bring him back home. Eh? Can you please? Can you? My love, you have to try to eat something, no matter how little it is. Don't worry, you would definitely walk with your legs again. Your father, the king, is making serious arrangements to fly you abroad for proper treatments. I love. I promise to stand by you through thick and thin. You are my husband. 
And I love you so much. Please. Eat something. Please, okay? My love. Please. Is this how you want to continue till the very end? That is what my mother and faith brought upon me. I don't have a choice. Yes, you have a choice. You do. Leave him and run away. Hmm. Leave him and run away? Yes. Life must go on. Princess, you're too young to be in this type of pain. That was then, my dear. Listen to me. The prince never liked you. He only married you because his father said he must do so. Pat, must you remind me of all that? Princess, how can a young girl like you live with a man that cannot perform in bed all the rest of your life? How? Plans are on ground to fly him out for proper treatment. And what if they could not treat him? They are not God, remember? Can we leave my marriage and talk about something else? There you go again, trying to change the topic. Prince. Okay, it's alright. My daughter, how is your husband doing? He's fine. He's I know it has not been easy for you trying to take care of him in his present condition. But I want to thank you immensely for your effort. If I don't do it, who will do it for me? I'm only doing my work. I don't think anybody should thank me for it. You're not every woman who do what you're doing right now. Considering the circumstances surrounding this marriage, be a good woman. Thank you. It's my cross. I'll carry it. Once again, I would like to thank you for your persevering spirit. His uh, medical trip abroad will be in two days' time. So I want you to prepare him early enough. We'll just hope and pray that everything works out well. Okay? Oh, <laughs> Majesty, we will not stop. <laughs> I know why I'm married. No, I didn't. So what is it in the palace at this time of the day? I am the king. The chief priest is free to see his king anytime. I don't think that is a problem. Greetings! A great king and queen of a Lolo kingdom. Greetings to you, Anyadike, the eyes of the gods. Greetings to you, eyes of the gods. What brings the eyes of the gods to the palace this hot afternoon? Indeed, the toad does not scamper in the daytime in vain. The gods have heard your cries. They have accepted your sacrifice. And finally, they have granted your request. May their name be praised. The prince, your son, will return to this land. But warn him to be very careful. Eyes of the gods, what should we be warning our son against? That the gods have not revealed to me. The message is, warn your son. Warn your son. Warn him to be very, very careful. Um, very well, thank you, my princess. And you? Fine. Okay. How, how is your husband, the prince, doing? 
Any news from him? He is fine. Exactly what you said even before you traveled. Princess, I don't understand. Does it mean they don't give you detailed information about his condition or what? My dear, they said he is getting better as the day passes by. <laughs> Alright. So, have they been able to tell you when he will be coming back? They have not said that to me. I just pray he comes back as soon as possible. <laughs> you know, his coming back is not even my problem. What bothers me is what his condition will be by the time he returns. I can't wait to set my eyes on you again. The night is cold. I feel so lonely. Empty. I wish you were here to take away my loneliness. I miss you so much. I miss you. Good evening, Your Highness. I'm fine, Your Highness. Did you say my husband will be back tomorrow? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. What's the 
meaning of that drama you pulled out there? What's the problem? What's the problem? You've come here to question me. No? Who do you think you are? I am your wife. I am your wife. Hey, Prince. I want to know why you choose to embarrass me with the presence of everyone. Why you choose to embarrass your pretty wife? A wife that you have not seen for a very long time. I don't see where this conversation is going. So I ask her that she's not pushing me and just leave. Okay? What have I done wrong? Just, just leave me alone before I lose my mind. Okay, just, just go. You hear me? I whispered. Please calm down. He hasn't gotten up to this. Get out. Get out. Cosmos, mm -hmm. if you see what happened today, if in fact you needed to be there. Hmm. Okay. I know they did. I know see what happened. You went there, dear. Tell me, make I know what happened. In fact, you still don't understand what I'm talking about. What the person? What the person? What in the world are you? Eh? Tell me, what in the world are you? You don't always like your story, do long throat for person, and you know good. You know good. Now you're dead there. Tell me what thing you see. You know what? Tell me. And you get one thing about your life when I know like. What? You do always this stingy. Very, very stingy ways to lead it. I know that help your life. See, see, Cosmos. I just I just wanted to make you feel Arabai. understand what, what uh, Arabai. Fine, 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 fine. I will tell you. Oga pushed his wife away. When she was trying to greet and hug him when he was coming down from the car. Got a fair bit. No, you made it. Pushed. What did happen? How did things happen? Is that question for me? Are you asking me? Am I the guy that pushed his wife away? Hey. But Cosmos, you needed to be there. She needed to see how sexy this woman was looking. You needed to see how endowed, how packaged Cosmos. Cosmos, oh God. You don't do. You don't do. You don't do. See, my Bible talker. See, anybody when they do this kind of thing, what you do now, now hair fire straight. You know, feel branch, even great person, you do go hair fire. And with the way where you just do this, your hand like this, if you take me as take away and I know go agree. I know fit. Uh -huh. you, you say, Madam, fine for the clothes when she wear. Don't do because of fire fire. Welcome, my son. I'm so happy you arrived your fatherland safely. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much. Uh, but I can't even pretend that I'm not happy. You know, I was hoping to come back here and then find you and Mom welcoming me, but uh, that didn't happen. Oh, you didn't inform me. I... Yes, I know. The plan was actually to surprise everyone, including you and Mom. But I guess that. Uh, Plan didn't, didn't work out. My son, we tried to cancel our holiday here in Ghana, but we couldn't make it due to flight issues. Don't worry, we'll be back. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, Dad. Um, how is Mom, by the way? She's she's all right. She's resting at the poor side. All right, Dad. My warmest regards to her. All right, my son. See you soon. Okay, Dad. See you, Dad. Your food is ready. Take off your clothes so you can go take your bags and come have a decent meal. 
I'll join you in the bathroom. I'm still willing to make you happy. I want to ask you a question, Jay. Go ahead, my friends. Are you a harlot? It's only a harlot who dresses half naked just to welcome a husband to travel and then have the entire community feast on a half nude body. So I ask you again, are you a harlot? No, I see. Was that why you embarrassed me out there today? You lack home training. You should get home training. Jen, wait, 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 wait. Uh, like I used to tell you, marriage is not a bed of roses, you know? Please be calm. Things will be fine. Okay? It will be well again. Look, things. Did I win a Beneta? I got okay, Jagger. In a day, a rapple, and you chasing everything. You know, go overlook, please. Mother, he has completely changed. He's now a total stranger. <laughs> Seeing your husband as a total stranger will just add to your problem, it will not help you at all. Please, Inugo, Jane, Jane, are you listening to me? Jane, is not picking her calls. Eh? What is really wrong with her? What is going on? I hope she's not planning anything stupid because I will not support any rubbish act from her. No. 
I will not support. I will never support. Here. Hey, Jane. Jane. Jane, you have to pick your call, oh. You have to pick this call. I really need to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You need to pick my call. Huh? What is this? What is, what, what is all this? What is all this? I, I don't understand. What do you think you're doing? What does it look to you like I'm doing? Please, child. I am leaving you for good. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you're leaving me. Are you serious? In the next couple of minutes, you will realize if I am serious or not. Ah, you should think this through. You will. Think. And I'll take an action that you're going to regret. What are you doing here with this bag? You have come to my house to stay. Mama, what are you talking about? Go back to your husband's house. That is where you belong. That's what I'm saying. I should go back to that beast. I'm not going anywhere. I will go back there. The earlier you start going back to that house, the better for all of us. Nabakwao, Nabebi Sinata, Chevi Rebi Chelazo. That your only child should go back to a woman bitter. A man who nearly killed his wife over nothing. Mama, you didn't want talking. There's no way I'm going back to Frank. He's a devil. I'm not going back to you. And that same devil paid your bride price. Listen, Jade. That devil. Is your husband. Yes. And tradition makes it compulsory that you will live in that devil's house for the rest of your life. Oh, yes. And you listen to me. Do not allow the king and the queen to hear that you left your husband's house for any reason. Because it is an abomination. Marriage is for better, for worse. You get that into your thing. Nonsense. Are you just to be this foolish? 
How much do I pay every month? Okay, fifty thousand. Hey, okay. Now when I remember, I say make I I pay you fifty thousand too small for me. Make you bring her up small because my problem don't increase. You can come with your plan. Listen to me. You will have no thousand to your name if I come back tonight and my wife is not in this house. Oh God. Okay, maybe that's I talk I and mean, you know you don't understand. Now me day she carry by come with me, not be me carry get to meet her. And that way you give me a small. What you came back? Oh, what you thought I was going to come after you? Huh? Huh? You thought I was going to run after you? Looking for you. My name is Prince Frank. And I do not have time of the day to start chasing around useless and idiotic people like you. Hear me and hear me well, Jay. Next time, pull this kind of stop. Tina, she's my sweetheart. I would like for you to make this house very comfortable for her whatever she visits. Alright? Um, I don't see the food on the dining table. Where is the food? Jen. Jen. The food. Anything I'm saying at all. Is it a problem I have with you? Why is the food not here? Huh? Why do we not have the food here? Can you please have the food? Jay, I am talking to you. So we're going to stand here and move on ourselves all day. Okay. Now you see what I'm dealing with, right? I can see. I'm dealing with a total moron. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Be nice enough. Okay? To please. That way. Thank you very much. Can I have the food? I have a guest. Sweetie. What? You didn't want to me. Oh, sweetheart, my God, I'm sorry. 
Um, forgive my manners, darling. This is Tina, my sweetheart. Sweetheart, that is Jane. That's the wife they imposed on me as a crown prince. Mm. But not a problem. Um, time. Hmm? We'll take care of her. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Chill. Go, 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 go. It's fine. You can get the food now. We're really ready to eat. Please. What's your problem? Get the food! Go! You see what I'm dealing with? Can you watch me? I'm talking and then she stands there moping at me. Hey. You know what? Come to the daddy. She's not going to kill our appetite. You know? She knows how to cook. You know, I have to give it to oh yeah, that's why I still, you know, keep her around here. She's a fantastic cook. You're gonna taste the food that you're gonna testify. Apart from that, she's totally useless. Please. Just imagine what I knocked. The prince came out. The prince came out half naked. But with the look on his face, I, I suspect something is happening. Something is going on inside that room as we speak. Something is happening. See your life. Like, you see, you, you use your two eyes. I heard how these two English take joy. You see, and I heard they join. So now come on here, you hear. You hear from, from, from background. You don't even see. Now you decide. So with what you heard, you, you are not able to fathom what probably may be going on inside that room. I'm just trying to make you understand. How do you go from what you hear, fathom the... the, 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 the uh, what kind of a person are you? What kind of a human being are you? My Bible talk more. My Bible talk and say, no, they follow people when no holy, no associate with them. So because I came to tell you what I heard, that is why you think I am. Oh, good morning, princess. How are you? I'm I'm fine, my princess. Uh, good morning. Uh, I hope so you pray for us. So I did. Uh, thank you, my princess. Have a nice Wait, you know Drive Princess Go Church? Oh! Oh! See your life? The people I said to drive, you know they're hungry again. You don't tire. Today, move something like this. Now you, wait to do get man job, don't tire. Between me and you, who is better now? Look at you, the gate is open. Wide open. The princess just walked in. Okay, what if now Robert enter now? Hmm? 
I'm with you. I wanted to take the princess to the church. But she said no, that she wants to use public transport. So what would you have me do? Force her? Wait, wait. You, 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 about the umbrella. Waiting today's date. Eh? Waiting be today's date. Which month today? Uh, today's date. Na match, na match of April. Eh, yeah, match, I'm about to come to us in December. I want to find out. What? Mama. What do you want to do? Oh. <laughs> huh? Baby, who's that again? Oh. Why kill yourself over a man that has vowed to make life miserable for you? That same man is my husband, remember? You don't need to remind me of that. Let me ask you, for how long do you intend to stay in this bin? I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like the whole world is, is crashing on me. That's exactly how I feel. I can't even explain it. I feel so terrible. Mm. How do you mean? Pat. My husband keeps getting worse by the day. She didn't ask you to leave the house. That would have been better. So. Princess, talk to me. What is it? Pat. Hmm? My husband. Now brings women. A matrimonial home, and he sleeps with them. Right before me. What, Frank? What type of a man are you? What type of a father will you be to your children when you finally become? Mom, you're going around in circles now. Eh? It would be nice if you just, you know, get straight to the point. Tell me what exactly you're talking about because I'm still lost. Frank. Mom. If your children grow up and start bringing women into their matrimonial homes, what will you tell them? As a father, as a man you are now, what will you tell your own children? Mom, I don't, I don't get you. Are you implying that I'm irresponsible? Sure you are. How dare you bring another woman into your own matrimonial home? Have you forgotten you're married? That your wife suffered so much to take care of you while you were sick. 
Is that how to show her gratitude? Ma'am, you people who don't need to my regard. Really? Yes. Next time I get such a report about you, you won't like my actions. You won't like what I would do to you. I bet you, you won't like it. Thank you, baby. I can take anything from a man, but certainly not in sleeping with another woman before me. Especially when the man involved is my husband. Easier said. What do I do? Tell me. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I don't know what to do because I'm very confused. The worst thing that can happen to anyone in your state right now is being confused. Listen to me. You must rise up to the occasion. If you keep quiet, you will lose this fight. Did you say fight? Yes, fight. You must fight for what is yours or get ready to lose it completely. The bitch that wants to snatch my friend's husband and send her out of her matrimonial home. Who is talking? Oh, it's you. Listen, if you ever call me names again, if you ever call me names again, you forever regret it. <laughs> I'm still talking to you. Do I in any way look like the princess to you? And you listen to me. If you try me, I will bury you alive. Stay away from Prince Frank. He is married. Do you understand? Who is talking? 
Who is talking? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Fucking dog. I do not have time for mad woman like you. Now get off my way, please. Did you just call me a mad woman? And did you just touch me? No, did you call me mad? Did you just touch me? Did you? Also, you are saying I did it. No, that's what you're saying. So if you didn't do it, then who, who, who did? Are you, are, you, are you telling me that my Tina is lying to me now? No, is that what you're saying? No, tell me. You're saying that Tina, Tina is lying to me? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, that is what you're implying. Please, you have to believe Believe what? Listen, the only thing I believe is that you are now done. You hear me? Yes, yeah, that's what I believe. This marriage is over. Okay? I can't continue with this nonsense. You see this charade that has been going on for quite some time? It's over. I can't do it. Get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> get! I said get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> are you are you stupid? This nonsense is over. I'm done, alright? Make me sick in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, put this down. You see, my mom's presence here is not going to change anything. You hear me? It's not going to change nothing. You're living and you're living for good. <laughs> what is going on here? Have you all gone? No. All gone. What is good about that? She was just leaving. Leave him to work. <laughs> we have an understanding that the marriage is over. Where are you going? Why are you with your things outside? Hey! Don't you just come and take this inside? Keep those things and move your hands from them. No, I, I don't you want, want to destroy this marriage. I don't want those bad man. You I, don't, I, don't dare. dare! I don't want this man. Shut your mouth! Shut up! What is that? What is that? What is that? Go inside. Go inside! Frank, if you talk to me again, I'm gonna slap you. I will slap your face so that your senses will get you back into your head. What is wrong with you? When have you become a beast, you are now? What is wrong with you? Get off my way. I'll beat you with this. Rubbish! My princess, please go inside. Mom, you're interfering. Alright? You are interfering and I'm not going to accept it. I want to clear your head. I want to clear your head because I know you've lost it. Come inside. That woman has to go, mom. She has to go. We are done. This is my house. This is my house. We are done. She has to go. We are totally incompatible. She has to go. And that is final. Frank, I will never go back with you to the house again until she leaves. You cannot say that now, right? Please. I mean, we have plans. We, we, you and I have plans to get married. What about happened to those plans? Come on. If you're really serious to get married to me, then divorce her. Send her out of that house. <sighs> Look, it's not that. Uh, it's not as easy as you think. To give me some time. Please. Then let me be. I am not a desperate lady. This is your house. Therefore, you should not allow any woman to come to your house and intimidate you. I've heard what she said, Queen Mother. I don't have strength for troubles. I don't want troubles. Why do you keep running away from trouble? It's when you keep running away from trouble or whatever that is chasing after you, 
it will keep coming after you. But once you decide and become brave to fight what is facing you, you will see it run away from you. Jane, stand up and fight for your right. Frank is your right. This house is your house. The problem. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Nothing good comes in. That I can assure you. Don't tell the king about what happened here today. I know him very well. If you tell him, he will not take it lightly with him. I don't want them to be having issues because of me. Please. Why do you want me to make such a promise to you? And don't you think telling the king about this will change the situation once and for all? Please, please don't tell him, please, I beg you. Please don't tell him. Jane, can I go home? Excuse me. My princess, why is your face like this? What is wrong with you? What kind of a friend are you? Oh, tell me. What kind of a friend are you? Huh? The very one that loves, cares, and wants the best for a friend. Not even. You want my marriage to collapse, right? I beg your pardon. Pardon. Why did you have to go fighting my husband's mistress? Is that in any way your business? Is it? Yes, it is my business. It is my business because you cannot fight for yourself. And if I leave you, that bitch will send you out of that marriage. Pardon. My princess. God has given people like us the strength to fight for the weak ones like you. But what is this? Calm down, my princess. Huh? Just calm down, let me get you something to cool off it. This is certainly not what you need right now. Huh? You need it for that. Huh? My princess, calm down. Come down, let me get you something. Honey? Honey, food is ready. I was waiting for you to come join me inside. Honey, I'm talking. Stay away from me. What are you trying to do? Slap me? Did you just... <laughs> Frank. <laughs> don't you ever think about it. Let alone raising your hands on me. Don't. Don't try it again. You must have eaten something while I was asleep because you have grown wings, Jenny. Huh? <laughs> Let this be the very last time you will try that rubbish again. Jenny, I'll talk about that thing. Huh? I was going to tell you that I'll be going to my father's place today. Um, Myself and the king will have a meeting for praying very hard. But that meeting has nothing to do with you. Because if it does, when I come back to this house, you'll find that this house will be too small. Pray very hard. Tell I'll be right in this house waiting for you to come back.
Princess, I don't seem to understand you. Do you mean you left your matrimonial home for the prince and that lunatic? I don't want to die before my time. Besides, Prince Frank is not the only man on earth. I just don't want to believe you're a coward. What kind of useless statement did you just make? I'm very sorry. I had no water in my mouth when I was dead. So, why do you want to run away from your marriage? Do you even know how difficult it is to get a husband these days? <laughs> I'd rather remain single than to be in that hell called marriage. Then I wouldn't want God or your mother to see me as part of the people that made you abandon your marriage. <laughs> I heard you. Dear friend, but I only beg you to please permit me to spend just this night. And by tomorrow, I'm gone. But if you will not, please tell me now so that I can go. Because my mind is made up. Hello, Dad. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, Dad. How is Mom? We are doing good. Is your wife close to you there? I want to speak with her. Oh, she's just not around, Dad. But she, she left the house yesterday. What are you saying? You are joking, right? Dad, I'm serious. She left the house yesterday. She only returned. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I just, you know, she just packed up and left, and I thought that she was going to return at her own time. So, you know, but, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. You better go and look for her. Dad? <laughs> what is wrong with this man? Really? Yes. Who are you talking about? My father, the king. Wants to know where Jane is. Was that what he called? Yeah. Are you a guy that in jail? Ask me again. I don't know what it is with my parents and this girl. When I have you here, babe. Sweetie, you know. Uh, okay, my honey. Please do not let them spoil this beautiful moment of heart. They can't. Forget them. I just look at your beautiful face and I lose my mind, baby. Really? <laughs> I'd love to kiss you. Can I just kiss you? Oh, come get it to me, baby. Just this one time, baby. So sweet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your Majesty, what would you like to have for lunch? Under the young window, with the pussy soap. As it pleases your majesty. Woman, I believe that your son has gone mad. In fact, he has gone mad. Your majesty, how do you know? How can a sane man not know the whereabouts of his wife since yesterday? And he's yet to do something about it. Your majesty. Are you saying that Jane is missing? Going by what your son said, yes. Are you sure our son has not thrown out of the house? He should better pray that such a thing didn't happen. Else, he will regret ever having me as a father. What do you mean by that part? Eh? What do you mean by you don't know her whereabouts? When it was in your house that she slept when she left her husband's house? Yes, she slept in my house, but she left the following day. She left the following day to where? I don't know. Just that. 
We had an argument after she told me she was quitting her marriage. And I told her I'd only allow her to stay in my house for just that night. And, and what happened next? Nothing. Nothing happened. But she, she left the following day without telling me where she was heading to. And you just allowed her live like that. But you allowed my daughter leave your house without telling you her whereabouts. Just pray that she's safe wherever she is. Pray that I find her. Because if I don't, hey, but if I don't, I am telling you that I, Beatrice, I will do the impossible. This town will not contain both of us. I am telling you the truth. You will know the best side of me. In fact, the best side of me you will see. Baby, this place is beautiful. Oh, your parents have eyes for good things. I love it. You do? I do. <laughs> money. Huh? This is what money can do. You can say that again. <laughs> but don't forget that not every wealthy person has high so good things. Uh, well, that one is true. Uh, but my parents, they've got eyes for good things. I know. So gosh. Quite exposed. Look at these. Well traveled. Yes. Yes. Mom. What is this cheap pilot doing in my house? Oh. Huh? Hey. Who opened my gate for you? Uh, good, 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 good. Frank, Mom. take this idiot out of my house before I lose my temper. Huh? Shoo -shoo. Hey, leave! Hey, get out! Huh? Leave! Want me to smack you? Leave. Wait outside. Just leave it outside. Look at the way she's dressed like a cheap hog. Uh, Mom, it's fine. Did you get up? Mom, calm down. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. So what do you want? Uh, you see, Mom, I've come to appeal to you to help me talk to Dad. You know, let him know that I didn't ask Jane to leave the house. I mean, to just so what do you want? I've just told you what I want, to help me talk to Dad. Listen, the earlier you bring back Jane, your wife, into your house, the better for you and for everyone. I think you're missing me, Mom. This woman got up and left. I didn't ask her to leave. Your father will be back any moment from now. Trust me, you will not find it funny if he finds you here. Ah! Tell me, what did I do to your parents that they hate me with so much passion? I don't do that. What did I hear you say? Frank, they insult me. They call me all sorts of names. Your mother walked out of the palace after insulting me. And you sit down there to tell me you don't think they hate me? Really? I think that all just comes from the fact that I'm having a family. What is that? And how is that a problem? Who tell me? How is that their problem? Tina. We should take a break. Yeah, I I need some time to myself. I I need to find my wife and bring her back home. Please. What did you just say? <laughs> you would do no such thing. This madness is not taking us out of it. We're not making progress. Why? <laughs> I'm a married man. Let me be. Oh, you're a married man. I should let you be. Mr. Man, do I need to remind you that we took an oath? Hmm? It has sink into your brain. Mr. Eric, you're welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm okay. I'm doing very quick. I'm sorry I couldn't make it past schedule. 
No, it's okay. At least you're here now. So how is she doing? Oh, for that, she's okay. But the injury she sustained is much as you know. But she's supposed to be responding to treatment by now. I love you too, Doctor. Why is she not responding to treatment then? Uh, the whole thing is very confusing to me. Doctor, you cannot use the word confusing. You're a medical doctor. You should find a solution to this. What actually do you want us to do right now? I don't want to put the scene as a model. Do everything within your power to make sure that she's okay. I can do something. Mr. Eric, I wish I know what to say. So you see, sweetheart, do not do what you will leave to regret. Do not let your parents lead you to destruction. Do I do? Uh, what do I do? This, this is crazy. Tina, please, help me if you can. Please, just help me. What do you do? What's that supposed to mean? Are you asking me such questions? You're threatening me. My father, the king, is threatening to disown me. My wife is missing. Right now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what to do. Just, I need help. If you can help me, just help me. Don't be so mean, please. Mr. Man, you brought this to yourself. Clean your mess. The gods are silent. Why are they always silent? Why can't they speak to you? Now we all need them to talk. Anyadike, I personally came to the shrine and offered a very big sacrifice concerning this issue. Didn't they accept my sacrifice? Your Majesty, the gods accepted your sacrifice. Then why have they not been able to tell you where my son's wife is? Why have they not been able to reveal to you why my son is behaving this way? Why? Patience. 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 Caution is the key word. What is the meaning of that? And then they can tell the gods to rise up to the occasion. Tell them. The royal house must be mindful of what they say and how they say to avoid attracting the wrath of the gods. I did to you in this world? What have I done to you? Why are you constantly looking for ways to make life difficult for me? Is it a wrong thing that I saw you, liked you, brought you into my life? Am I being Ah, please shut up! She belongs to your past! You don't know the queen sweet face, Abikono! The one you brought upon yourself, she belongs to your past! She don't care about the queen sweet face! Hey! What is this? What have I gotten myself into? God, I beg you! To see the beautiful one you have inside You keep looking, searching on the outside When you have what you need and want <laughs> You'll buy it for me <laughs> I want this be dead type Excuse me, I'll call you back, okay? One minute. My in law. You're looking so beautiful. How are you, people? Are you? You don't even want to say hello to me. Everybody. My people. <laughs> they will so forget. That you people are royalty. They will also forget the smooth, 
and sweet relationship that has existed between us and make serious trouble with you people. My in law, what is, what is the problem? I don't like the sound of that at all. Is there anything the matter? Questions. Questions. Why are you sounding as if you don't understand what I'm talking about? As if you don't know the direction I am coming from. Why? My in law, please. I am completely and totally confused. I am lost here. Talk to me in the language I will understand. Make me understand. I see. <laughs> Actually, you are lost. You are totally lost. Why has your son decided to play with the only thing that matters to me in this world? The only thing that adds meaning into my life. Oh, Jane. Don't be angry with us. We are at the top of the matter. We are making effort. We will find her. Just calm down. Just give us time. She'll be found. All right? You will find her. Mm -hmm. Very soon. Soon? <laughs> Queen, I hope your son has not used my daughter for money rituals. So he can enjoy it with that harlot I saw him with today. I hope. I hope. I do not know where my son Ingodi Prince kept my daughter. So wait now. No one has seen or heard from her. Have you been able to talk uh, with your son-in-law or anyone from the royal home about this? Yes, but they are not saying or doing anything to find her. DPO, I think the priests have used Madam, why, why would you say such a thing? Of course, you know the prince is from a wealthy home. Therefore, he cannot soil his hands with the blood of his own wife. You don't know the children of nowadays. They are very desperate. I don't trust the prince. He can do the unthinkable. Oh, this is a strong allegation. Come to the station immediately. right in front of you but you don't see it decided to drag the name of this royal family to the mud. What is this harlot still doing in your house when your wife is out there missing? Oh, well, Dad, uh, <laughs> uh, let me explain. To you. you see, Jane um, is not particularly the woman that I want to live with as a married man. Uh, this is the one that I want, and her name is Tina. Dad. Um, her name is not Hallett. I, I How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? <sighs> All right, Dad, I get it. Okay, I, I see your point. I understand. But I would appreciate it if you stop crying into my personal offense, please. With all due respect, Dad. please, please. Try not to apply it to my personal life. You will so regret this very day. Get 
Sophia, Sophia. What are you looking at? Fool! Fool! That thing will come off from Igwe hand. Go up, come down. Now slap, that is not my problem. My problem is the prince. Am I Igwe that slap him? Sometimes I don't, I don't understand the prince. Igwe I'm Okura. When you have what you need and want inside. Prince Frank. Did you use your wife, Princess Jane, for money rituals? <laughs> your question is preposterous. Why? Why would I use my wife for rituals? You are not expected to ask me questions. Rather, you're here to answer my questions. Now I ask again. Did you use Princess Jane, your wife, for money rituals? I did not use my wife for my rituals. So tell me, why haven't you done something meaningful since she was reported missing? Who says? I have been doing everything meaningful, all to no avail. Isn't that why I'm here? You're looking for her, looking for her. Everyone is looking for her. Hmm? Prince Frank, there is a petition against you that you used your wife for money rituals. You know the meaning of that, right? <laughs> Deep you. Uh, I'm in your office now. And my wife is missing. Uh, what can you do for me? I need your help. I have a wife who is out there. I don't know what's happening to her, her whereabouts. Can we not get into the bureaucracy of the petition and just find my wife, please? Tell me what it would cost. I would pay. I would cover the expenses, but I need your help. Sometimes what you really need is right in front of you, but you don't see it. Sometimes what you really want it's right there in front of you but you fail to see it you think the grass is greener on the outside what was that? Next year. tell those idiots the same to me not to try that again if they try it again i'll gun them down Morning to me. I will not warn you again. You know who I am. I am Hazard. And you get mental. Frank, I am disappointed at you. Why did you go that far? You can't blame me for going that far, Mom. You know how father hates that girl with a passion. Do I like her? Oh, you don't, but you're quite civil in the way you do. You, 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 you do things. Well, you see the, 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 the way he harasses the girl all the time. But that's not why I'm here. Here so that you can help me talk to him. Me talk to him? No, because you know how difficult your father can be. I, I know, but you're the queen. You're, the, you're, you're his wife. He listens to you. But why did you do that? What is that stupid boy doing here? Am I supposed to be going with that void drop? Void drop, just eat. I said, what is that stupid boy doing here? Eh? Where are you running to? No, come back! Come back and face me! Come back and talk to me! Prince Frank! Prince Frank! 
You think you're a man? Nonsense. I find it very difficult to, to understand this. Why this sudden change of profession from a gitman to a pastor? What happened? Yeah? Gitman pastor. <laughs> I don't get anything to tell you. Yeah? But wait until my God will never answer my prayer. Because I don't say he will answer my prayer. Amen. Amen. But it's obvious you're wasting your precious time. Mm. Yes, you're wasting your time. You've been praying for a very long time now, yet no result. Do you think a sinner like you is in the position to do this? Cosmos, listen and listen very good. The day you will lose this job. Cosmos, the day you will lose this Gitman job. That is the very day you will realize how stupid and foolish you are. Continue. No problem, continue. I'm not going to tell you anything now. Make I just wait until my madam, Jen, come back. If I get talk, I go tell you. But for now, the only good thing will be for me. Cover me, my God, break it, my God. I'm not covering you. Just pray, or God does not accept me. I'm not covering you for anything. Pass me. Remember this.
I think 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. So I can have 3 million. We have 3 million. And we can now give uh, 4 million to the ball. <laughs> so um, I I so much in support of that. Uh -huh. uh, we should remember that we are talking of Prince Frank Joko, the son of Ugumba II of Ejalolo's kingdom. That is the very reason why you should pay us 30 million. <laughs> exactly. Or no deal. Because I believe he's a prince. Uh, he has money. Yes. And we need money. So he, he has to pay us money. And he's going to give us money. 30 million of no deal. No deal. Now you will boss now. Wait till you talk now, they follow now. No. Uh, uh, you can see her. <laughs> see that girl. Hazard once to double cross me. A boy I picked up from the streets and taught how to survive even when there was no hope. How do I sit back and allow this boy go away with 30 million naira? In a deal I arranged. <laughs> Hazard. I can see you now a big boy. Get ready for the battle. I don't want to be engaged in any discussion that has to do with that useless boy. Your Majesty, he still remains your servant. The heir apparent to your throne. You really need to forgive him. Why will I do that? Because he's really sorry for what he did. I never disrespected my parents, let alone arresting them. Your son will definitely catch my rod. Your Majesty, I understand how you feel. But you see, this... You know... This discussion is over. Driver! Take me out of here. Everything will be happening. Baba. 
make my princess Del come back. Or if she don't come back, I will carry my bag. Come stay here. Hey, the time I stay for the house. I beg you, make sure she come back. What is it? Let me see uh, Princess Jane never come back. Did she tell you she's coming today? Yeah. I see her for church. She told me she did come. You have serious malaria. Malaria, that's your problem. Make sure you keep this to yourself. Do not say it to anybody before you land yourself into trouble. Do you understand me? Cosmos! <laughs> Where were you earlier today? I could pray. You want to pray? Listen, I don't need to man this gate properly today. Do you hear me? No one is allowed to get into this premises except, of course, for my parents, the king and the queen, and then my wife. Am I clear? Hey. Thank your God. Hmm? Just thank your God. Mention it. You're very lucky. Very lucky. You see, no fear. I know God where they serve for heaven. Eh? Where I learn how to pray, now for children. Where I go pray. Now for can come. Oh, presently where they worship Nana, oh, oh, boy. Who you go ask? How you say you die like for Moses, die like for Ask me and Moses for Bible. At the same prayer school we go. I thought I was dead. Right? Sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Please. You don't go shut down. I make I shut down for you. You asked me to kidnap and eliminate Tina because she took over her business husband. You do not know that you wanted out of the way because you actually wanted to see my friends. Now my men are dead. Deserves to be rewarded. 
Okay, now do just that. But first, please, please, I would love to go and see my mother. Because I know she must be heartbroken after my disappearance. Oh, you're absolutely right. You need to go and see her as soon as possible. We will go with you. Um, we lost the young lady. Huh? You mean Pat is dead? Yes, sir. She's dead. Uh, unfortunately, she died before we we arrived. Okay. But I want to specifically thank you for putting a call across to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. As a matter of fact, you're a good neighbor and a good Nigerian as well. A good citizen for that matter. Thank you so much. Officer, immediately I heard the noise from her apartment. I sensed trouble. I knew something was wrong. I decided to call you people. But I didn't know she would be dead before you people were like that. Oh, it's a pity. It's a pity we lost her. But once again, I want to thank you. Thank you so well for putting the call across to us. I appreciate that, okay? This is what we tell every Nigerian citizen. Call us on phone when something like this happens. I appreciate you so well. Meanwhile, um, if any need arises for us to call at the station, I will put the call across to you, okay? That's no problem. Thank you. I will answer. Officer? Sir? Push them inside the vehicle. Sir? Oh, yeah. Move inside the vehicle. Move inside! Criminal. Jump inside! Now to jump this little bit. You go jump, jump inside. Jump inside. Then you have the guts to accuse my own son, the prince of this land, that he was using your daughter for rituals. Mm. You don't deserve to be rich. I forgot about what. What the hell? Yeah, but what? Mother, when you told me father left nothing for us, you told me he died a poor man. And his people wanted you dead. Which is why. She never allowed me to go visit them. That's what you told me. Hey, that was because I, I never wanted you to know the truth. I wanted you dead. So that I could take over the money and the properties. Die. Which die. <sighs> Yes. So die. Please forgive me. 
Tell me. Who am I? Who are my people? Where am I from? Where am I from? What's my road? Calm down. I'm What the hell? I know that I have brought you that time. I haven't lived up to your expectations, Ada. I have brought you through my actions. But Daddy, I have invited you here today to apologize to you. And to tell you that I am truly sorry. For now I know better. Daddy, please forgive. I want to be in your arms again as your son, Dad, for I have nowhere else to go. Please, Dad. Let the heart go and find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, Dad. It's all right, son. I understand. Life is like a journey into the unknown. And we must live it one day at a time. I'm glad you have learned the lesson. Every time that I treated you less than you actually are, I am sorry. James, please forgive me. I have come to realize that you're not just my wife, but a gift to me. I've come to that realization, but I just hope it's not too late. Find it in your heart to forgive me. For I know no other person that I intend to do this journey. To get on this journey with Papa from you. No one else is fit, no one else qualifies more than you are. If you just forgive me, I promise to be a better man right in front of you. If you just forgive me and give me another chance, I promise to do right by you. Please, my love. This is my daughter. Please forgive him. He said you were going to do everything I ask you to do for me. And I promise to forgive you. I beg you to please forgive him. For my sake, forgive him. You know he didn't act on his own. He's my daughter. He's my daughter. He's a better husband now. that I do not want to live the rest of my life without you. 
connect.